There are many ways to use your computer to interact with your modular system, some more accurate than others. With an interface like the Tractor Audio 10, we can get both MIDI signals as well as use the AC-coupled RCA outputs for certain types of CV signals, like triggers and some LFOs, to route to a Eurorack system from applications like Reactor, CV Toolkit, or Silent Way. It should be noted that you should not use the Audio 10 for audio output from your computer in this configuration. Routing certain signals produced by this setup through a set of speakers or monitors could cause damage to them. Let's load up Reactor 6 to start with, and check the audio and MIDI settings. I'll make sure the Audio 10 is selected as my output device in the audio menu, double checking that the routing page is properly set up, and that the Audio 10 is turned on in the MIDI output page. Remember, we aren't actually going to be sending audio out to the speakers, only to the Eurorack system. I'll exit the settings window and click on the library tab in the browser. I'll scroll down to the Reactor Blocks folder and open the Bento Box folder. I'll double click on the LFO, automatically loading it into a new ensemble. Notice we have two output ports available on the right side of our environment. These correspond to outputs 1 and 2 on the Audio 10, since we set it up as our audio device. I'll route the output from the LFO to output port 1. Notice in the meters above, we can see the left channel signal rising and falling. I'll route an RCA to 8th inch cable from output 1 to the pitch input on the Maleco anti-oscillator. Notice the pitch rises and falls within a slim range. Depending on the rate of the LFO, the Audio 10 should be able to output a fairly sizable voltage range. However, at very low frequencies, we start to reach the limitations of an AC-coupled interface. In Eurorack, we generally use two different kinds of currents. AC, or alternating current, which we find with LFOs and oscillators, and DC currents, which are useful for sequencers and keyboards. DC-coupled interfaces, like those made by Mark of the Unicorn, can sustain direct currents from the audio outputs. AC-coupled interfaces cannot. As such, AC-coupled interfaces are limited in their use in this capacity. However, they're still useful for certain LFOs, triggers, and some other forms of modulation. Combined with the MIDI functionality in the Audio 10, we can get some complex results, even without the DC coupling. I'll add a few things to our ensemble. I'll add an 8-step sequencer from the Bento Box folder, as well as a clock and a MIDI out module from the Utilities folder. I'll connect the clock, gate, and reset to the sequencer, and the 8-step pitch and gate outputs to the MIDI out. I'll patch a MIDI cable from the output port on the front of the Audio 10 to Yarns. I'll route the Yarns CV and gate outputs to the anti-oscillator and the dual Borg acting as a VCA. We could also use any MIDI to CV converting device for this. We should get some action when we enable the clock. two more modules to the ensemble. I'll bring in the Gates and Trigs module from the Utilities folder, as well as the Clock Divider from the Digilog folder. I'll connect the Clock Gate and Reset to the Divider, and then four of the outputs to the four inputs on the Gates and Trigs. I'll copy and paste the two audio output ports a couple of times the duplicates automatically switching to the subsequent output ports 3 and 4 and 5 and 6, giving me access to more of the output ports on the Audio 10. I'll route each of the gates and trigs outputs to a port, and then connect the ports on the interface to some drum modules in my system.
When I hit play, we should get MIDI to CV sequencing on the anti-oscillator, with drums triggered by the different outputs from the clock divider. We'll explore more ways to use this setup with other software and hardware in the future. How are your computer and modular system interacting? Let us know in the comments. Thanks for watching and sharing. As always, please like, follow, and subscribe. And remember, patch smarter.